Hey guys, this is the Great Lugie here. Welcome to Pokemon Emerald version to go through Park 76. Last time we reached Archie, but we were too late and he awakened Kyogre. And now the weather is going crazy pretty much. Yeah, now there's a drought and a second ago there was rain. There's gonna be rain again. Yeah, there you go. Um, normally I just fly Sutopolis off screen, but considering the circumstances, I am just going to do it right now, considering what's about to happen. Also, note again, if you didn't go to Sutopolis before and just went straight to Seaborn Caverns after getting dive, um, you would have to go through this route and, you know, go underwater and such, and it would be annoying, especially with, like, all the rain drought weather and whatnot when battling the trainers. But unlike that, we can just fly, so yay! There they are. You're not even hitting each other, you know. Now then, something you know, most of Zootopolis is blocked off right now, like, with these people. Most people are either outside, but if you do go by a house, it'll be locked, because everyone's either out here, or they're locked in, locking themselves inside because they're afraid. The only things open are the Pokemon Center and the Pokemart right now in Zootopolis. And you'll notice, you know, there's all these people out here watching. Also, that small cutscene, with the way the angles were, I noticed that it was kind of similar, you know, the angles in the beginning intro for Red and Blue with Gengar and Nidoran. And it won't say anything. Can I just battle you? Can I even throw the Master Ball? And there we go, the fighting will at least end. Let's see what these guys have to say. Kyogre! What's wrong? Look over here! It's the Red Orb! Calm down, Kyogre! It's no good! It's not responding at all! Ye- Groudon! Please! Stop what you're doing! I know the extent of your power now! If you keep going, all Hoenn, not just Utopolis, will be utterly ruined! To be honest, I don't really mind the lack of water roots. Granted, Kyogre will just mess that up. And over here, there are more people, obviously. Anyway, you want to go up here. And here's Steven. Those Pokemon fighting. Groudon. And Kyogre. The two super ancient Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep. And now they are smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. Ethan. You being here now, I'll make... Wait, what? You being here now, I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. I'm not entirely sure if that makes sense grammatically, but go on. Well then, there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Dun 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 Aw. Listen, Ethan. Does seeing Groudon and Kyogre make you think Pokemon are to be feared? But that's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you this? You already know. Eh, not really. Because you don't make any sense, Steven! Okay, here we are. Inside, you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's needed to help him. And here we are in the Cave of Origin. Something important to note. If you're playing Ruby or Sapphire, um, just the respective version mascot will be there. But they won't be outside. They'll be in the Cave of Origin. And if you're playing Ruby or Sapphire, when you go in here, the Cave of Origin's a bit longer than it is here. And at the end, you'd battle Groudon or Kyogre, depending on the version. And that would be the conclusion to the quote-unquote story of the game. But here, things are a bit different, considering they're outside. And instead, Steven is down here. And the Cave of Origin's way shorter as well. And Rappel we're off. Um, something else to note. In Ruby and Sapphire, you actually find the last HM here. But in Emerald, it's a bit different again, so there are no items. See, we're already at the bottom. It was a few more floors. Um, if you were playing Ruby or Sapphire, and this is where Groudon or Kyogre would be, but instead it's empty. Oh! 
Ah, so you are Ethan. I've heard tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of Sutopolis, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor Juan with the gym's operation. Grodon and Kyogre, the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here, are considered to be super ancient Pokemon. But they aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There's one more somewhere. Somewhere, there's a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza! Dun dun dun! It's said that it was Rayquaza that became the two combatants in the distinct pass. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. Ethan, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. Um, uh, what do you mean? I don't think anyone ever meant. This is kind of stupid. They never mention the Skypo. You don't even know what it is. Although it's kind of implied, I guess, because you're in the Cave of Origin now and there's nothing there. Went to Mount Pyre, nothing's there, so I guess that just means it's the Sky Pillar. The Sky Pillar? That's it! It must be the Sky Pillar! Ethan, there's not a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. And I would just cut, but, um. Considering how ridiculously short this cave is, literally three tiny floors. We are already out. Let's see what they have to say. The Sky Pillar. I've never been there. I wonder where it could be. A person with a strong will and superior talent. A trainer who has knowledge and experience of many kinds of Pokemon. If such a person to appear, I was instructed by Wallace to lead that trainer to this cave. Alright then. Unfortunately, there isn't anything more we can do in Zootopolis. We are going to have to follow Wallace. So next time, we will begin the long trek to the Sky Pillar. And guess what that means? More water routes. I'll see you then. Ah.